Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and um, a lot of people have been talking about browsers and uh, I've had quite a few comments we're talking about you know how uh, Chrome had a lot of security updates lately and we also are looking at the fact that most browsers are Chromium based so everything follows and of course it comes to a point where you know, a couple of questions people ask is, you know, um, Firefox is different. It doesn't have the same engine. Is it better to use Firefox or, you know, should, um, what, what's the take on it? Is it better? Um, better is not really the words I would use because Firefox, honestly, I've, the times that I use it seems to be a fine browser. Um, and of course, the dominant browser is Google Chrome, and everybody's following in the footsteps of using Chromium as the basic open source engine for their browser. They just take that and, of course, you know, put the skin of of what they want it to look like and how they want it to work. Um, but there is definitely one thing that um, I have to say about a, a, a different browser, a browser that uses a different engine. Um, and it's the fact that, unfortunately, Firefox is fading away. It's losing ground every month. It uh, once was somewhere around, you know, close to 20% of the market share at one point, and then it started losing a lot. Um, it's the importance of having different ecosystems. I think it's important for Firefox to exist because it's important to have a browser that is based on some other technology than Chromium. And um, unfortunately, there should be more browsers like that. There should be more. You know, Microsoft Edge at the beginning, the first version was Microsoft's own engine. Um, you know, you may not like it because, of course, when you use different engines, there's different ways of actually doing the web browser and you know, the websites need to adopt to whatever browser you're using makes it more complex when everybody uses the same basic uh, engine it's much easier for most websites to adapt to whatever browser you're using but in terms of diversity in terms of having a choice of different things I do personally think that um, it'd be nice if uh, there'd be more Firefox like browsers that would have their own engine honestly and unfortunately that is a dying breed and there's even some speculation of people telling you know Mozilla why don't you jump on the bandwagon and also go chromium um, I think that would you know like it or not like Firefox or not because I know a lot of people hate it because they've done a few things that some people didn't like but like it or not I think that Firefox should not be a chromium based browser i think it's fine the way it is but we need more we need more because look at all the security flaws and look at firefox firefox had security flaws in the past few uh, months but at a much lower rate than chrome and chromium based in, uh, browsers so you know it's, it's something to look at um, having a choice having a different engine to to cope with to that is different um, a different ecosystem with, you know, different way of having add-ons and so on is not a bad idea. And I find it sad that, um, unfortunately, this seems to be going away. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.